Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to change the screen on the Moto G Power, also known as the Moto G8 Power. So the tools that we are going to need are going to be the following. A T4 driver, a metal razor blade, a pick of some sort, a playing card, and some heat. You'll also need some glue, like this, and some clamps. So I recommend lightly heating up the back, but because this is plastic, make sure to be very careful with the heat, and in my situation, I didn't use any heat at all. If you do use heat, heat it up for a few seconds, and then what you're going to do regardless is put in a razor blade like this, and probably get either a pick or a playing card to cut through the adhesive. I started going with the pick, but the playing card is a little bit better. Remember the back is plastic, but you can crack it, so be very careful when bending, and make sure not to bend too much near the camera area. There's also a cable for the fingerprint scanner, so you want to make sure not to cut that either, and all you want to do is cut the adhesive around the edges. So to make sure you don't cut the fingerprint scanner, what we're going to do is add pressure and push down on the fingerprint scanner. And this should break the adhesive from the back. And the reason I mention any of that is because I did tear the fingerprint scanner. But either way, we're going to continue on. Now with that Torx driver, you're going to remove all these screws on the top panel. And to remove this panel, all you're going to do is push the fingerprint scanner down and lift up the panel in that bottom area. Now once this is off, we can unplug the fingerprint scanner, get that out of the way, and move this little black cover so then we have access to the battery and the screen connector. Then we'll unplug the battery and we'll remove this bottom piece so then we can remove the battery as well. Then we're going to use something like a credit card to kind of cut through this adhesive. Be very careful, make sure not to bend that battery because that is definitely not a good thing to do. It will take some time to do, and what I recommend is using the card to get in there and then use a pick to kind of lift up the right side. The right side is where the screen plugs in, so you don't really have to worry too much about tearing that cable, but there is another cable that goes to the bottom, so you want to be careful with tearing that cable. Once you lift up the adhesive on the right side, you should be able to put the card on top of that middle cable and cut through the adhesive on the left side. Make sure to be careful not to bend the battery too much if it does bend, but bending slightly isn't a terrible thing. Once you get the battery removed, if it does bend, you can flatten it on the table. Just make sure it is a very clean surface. You don't want to puncture that battery. Next, what we're going to do is unplug the screen and pull it down. And then we can plug in the new screen to make sure it's working. And it looks like it is. So what we're going to do is heat up the front of the screen, just around the edges of the phone, and what we're going to do is we're going to get this razor blade to kind of lift up the screen. It is glued onto the phone, so it may be a little bit difficult, and you might have to add more heat, but make sure not to add too much heat because the phone is plastic. Once you loosen up the adhesive, you should be able to get a playing card under the screen and cut through the rest of the adhesive. It may be a little bit difficult, but feel free to add some more heat if it does get difficult to cut through. 
and if there's a lot of glass, you might want to use a playing card to cut through this area. I recommend starting at the bottom area and then going up the right side, cutting through the top, cutting through the left side, and then lifting up towards the bottom like this. As you lift up the screen, make sure that you feed the cable through the right area, and it should just come off fairly easily. Now what we're going to do is we're going to clean up the remaining glass on here. It is glued on, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to clean up, but you do want to make sure that that area is flat. So the next thing you want to do is move all the stuff over from the old screen onto the new screen and feel free to just move over what looks like it needs to be moved. Like this little cover over the flex cable. I don't know what it does, but just in case, we're gonna move it over. Then there's this little ring that's supposed to prevent dust on the front camera, but it was too difficult for me to remove, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Then we have this earpiece, and all we're gonna do is just rip it off. It is glued on there, so it might be a little bit difficult to take off. And I recommend gluing it onto the phone, and I don't recommend pulling off the tab on the side like I did because that's what holds it in place. If you do that, add a little bit of super glue under it and it should stay on there fine. Next, what we're gonna do is put the screen on. So we're gonna feed the cable through here and then we're gonna add some glue around the area of the screen. So I will show you how to apply the glue. Just make sure to be careful around the front camera or else it could damage that. But we're gonna do just a little bit on the top, all down the sides and all down the bottom. Then we're going to put the cap back on and we're going to set the screen down. Now since we applied the glue we want to be a little bit careful and a little bit fast in this. So what I'm going to do is plug in the screen, push down this little cable right here, then I'm going to put five clamps on the right, five clamps on the left, and one on the top and bottom. For some reason, Motorola phones have difficulty gluing, so what I recommend is leaving this for at least two hours, but once that's over, you can take off the clamps and you can clean up the sides if you want. But for now, I'm gonna put the phone back together, so I'm gonna plug in the battery, make sure that that fits properly, and I'm reusing the adhesive on that battery, but if you take off all the adhesive, feel free to replace it. Then we're gonna put this little black piece back on, like this, and then we're gonna push down the top black piece as well. And we're going to put this black panel on there, make sure to clean up the adhesive. But first, remember you have to put the fingerprint scanner on there, which is what I tore. What you'll do is plug in the fingerprint scanner, fold it down, put this little black panel on there, and then just set the fingerprint scanner on there. Then we're going to put all the screws back in. And the next thing you want to do is remove the adhesive from the back and from the phone and add your own adhesive. All you want to do is just add adhesive where you found it on the back and then set it back in place. I didn't replace it because I was testing the phone, but I highly recommend replacing the adhesive. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at Matt of RWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more repair and some review videos, and hit that bell button so then YouTube actually reminds you when those videos come out. Thanks for watching.